Welcome back everybody to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to another Exploring the World of Azeroth and World of Warcraft. Today's adventure leads us to the Dungeon of Skolomance. And we are currently in the uh, Western Plaguelands. Where we will be performing a glitch and getting outside of the dungeon. Now, I know that... Um, you might be saying, well, how are you going to get out? There's no windows. There's no outage. Well, I'm going to show you how to do it. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a few things. Um, now, I personally prefer the Dark Moon Seesaw. That has like been my bread and butter out of all my glitches and out of bounds things that I've done. Um, you're also going to need something to make you grow. So I use the Elixir of Giant Growth. And I'm going to show you how I do this glitch today. So first thing you're going to want to do is after you defeat uh, Rattlegore, coming out right outside the gate, you're going to want to come right over here to the shelf. Now on this top of the shelf, you can get on top of here. And then in a certain direction, right there, you can point your camera. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to build the seesaw. And if it works correctly... The seesaw is going to be inside of the bookshelf. Now, why this is important is once we drink our potion, so we're going to go ahead and get more. We're going to enlarge ourselves. We're going to jump back up here and we're going to jump onto the seesaw. Now, once we exit out of the seesaw, we are officially out of the map. So there's one or two things you can do here. Um, I have been trying to get to this room over here for a long time, but I keep... Um, Bouncing out of bounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get to this next room over here because I want to go explore the older Skolomance dungeon area, but uh, I haven't been successful in doing it yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, jump out here. Fly. Foul rush, foul rush. There we go. We made it to the room, but it looks like you can't actually go out there. So we're just going to jump down. And now we are officially out of the dungeon so let's go take a look around and see what we can explore now unfortunately because we're not technically outside and you're never supposed to technically be outside you can't ride your mount as you can see here i can't use a mount uh so what i'm gonna have to do is just walk around and explore so let's go take a look now over here on this side of the map uh you can see that the map's already ending uh you can see the out of bounds gray area so if you fly down there it would just be that gray grayish thing you can get now you can't get back up there's actually a walkway over here i believe over here yeah you can swim now i will tell you be super careful with this glitch because do not drop down in here at all uh you will drop and drop and then you'll get kicked and then you'll just do an infinite loop of getting kicked and dropping so You'll have to then open up a sport ticket with Blizzard and get yourself unstuck. But we're going to go out this way and go check out. Now one of the cool things about this map is there is a body of water out here. But as you can tell, it just kind of cuts off. So what's interesting is actually if you go over here, you start swimming. If you go over here, you drop. If you go over here, you're swimming. It's the weirdest thing. So this is kind of cool to look at. And there's actually a bunch of blood trails down here, which is interesting as well. Um, but we're going to go take a look below the water here. And it's so weird. If I move my camera, it's like we're underwater. But we're not. So we're actually going to go jump in the water. So we want to make our way out this way. Unfortunately, I can't use my underwater mount either, which sucks. As you can see, there's not too much out here. But it is still cool to explore and take a look at everything. And here we are at the edge of the world. Careful not to jump out here as you will glitch and get clipped and you'll just get stuck. So be careful. Now 
Now hang with me because this is going to be a little bit of a slower than usual ex uh, exploration just because we can't use our mount, unfortunately. Now we are not actually using an inky black potion. I just want to mention that. So it's just nighttime out right now as I'm recording. So you remember the part of the dungeon when you fight Rattlegore? And for those of you who are old school, classic vanilla players, part of the Skolomance dungeon, there used to be a part where you come on this ledge and you'd fight like a winged bat creature. Now, obviously the creature and the boss doesn't exist anymore, but this is where you would fight the winged bat creature. Now I could show you if we go up here. Um, you can't actually get on the balcony, unfortunately. You'll just clip through the map. But I can show you kind of what it looks like. Or what it used to look like. There you go. So you can see the balcony area there. Now what's cool is you can actually get back in the dungeon this way, but we don't want to get back in. Um, we also don't want to fall down. See, so we're actually clipping a little bit here and you can kind of see the balcony area of where that old boss was, where, where you first meet uh, Lillian boss. All right, we're going to continue out this way. And as you can see, that uh, that was just an illusion, like a picture they show you. Now what's interesting here, if you go under the water, you can see the uh, dungeon area here, of where it lays. When you go outside the dungeon, uh, there's not too much out here. You can see it cuts off. And that's Skolomance right there. But we are currently out of bounds because you're never supposed to see this to begin with. Now, I made the mistake of actually falling in there. Uh, don't do it. Like I said, you'll just get stuck. Now, I was fortunate to where when I did fall, it cut me off and disconnected me out of the game. And uh, m when I logged back in, my dude was flying, so I was able to quickly fell rush to safety, but... Sometimes you might not be so lucky. Here's another part of the side of the water. That's halfway using, halfway not. And there goes the edge of the world again. So yeah, I mean, that's that's really about it, guys. Uh, there's not too much out here, but, you know, if you want to take a look and... There's some birds in the air over there. <laughs> if you want to take a look out here and explore for yourself, please do. Um, but if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.